Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Broke Let's Play. Last time went pretty well until spiders happened. Spiders are always a problem in this game because of the way poison works. Somebody mentioned in the comments that I should have held on to a, uh, what is it, a potion of life. But I didn't happen to have one. And I couldn't keep myself alive. Well, there's the stairs down already. I'm not sure if this episode is out of schedule or not. I kind of lost track. So I'm recording now to make sure. Ner Lofagreep. That one's actually pretty pronounceable. Kind of like when the potions can be pronounced, or scroll names rather. Loto Nuglagreep. Lots of greeps. That's weird. I don't know if the game like has preset patterns or something for the Hey, monkey friend. For the scroll names? It may do, actually. Cause it seems like when it seems like some syllables show up multiple times during a playthrough pretty often. And it's not like the names really give you that much information about what it does, so. It wouldn't be a big deal to have it a bit less random than a lot of other parts of the game. Wow, good job, monkey. I was not expecting the monkey to kill that thing so quickly. I wonder if it was asleep. Probably. So let's test out some of this. Remove curse. Shatter walls. And enchant. I'll up the dagger a bit. Strength. And detect magic. Where's the way out of here? I don't remember. Well, that shatter walls spell is going to get rid of a lot of the walls that were in the way anyway, so no big deal. There's no magic left on this floor. So, let's move on. Black potion, it's not so bad. Ooh, somebody told me in the comments actually that I could throw an item onto the pressure plate. Hey, it works, cool. Thanks for the tip. I don't have the matching key. So, apparently there's another key on this floor. Still, that was pretty handy. So, thanks to whoever gave me the tip, I don't remember offhand now. But, yeah, that's a lot easier than my method of finding a potion to let me fly over it. Speaking of throwing things, fuck you, monkey. Okay. Jackals. I think it's time to test some of these potions. Actually, no, because I'm probably going to catch on fire from one of them. So let's... Take a nap. Now test some of these potions. Well, I called that. So, good thing there's water right there. Potion of life. And telepathy. Okay, well, I think my monkey just burned. That's sad. But, you know, it happens. Another one? Oh. Good thing somebody gave me that tip before this run. I need that key. Thank you. Ironwood staff. Ooh. Don't know what that does, but it sounds fun. Don't really want to fuck with an eel right now. So how would I go about getting in here? 
Hidden barricade that could burn. What are the odds? Okay, well, I'll test it out on you. Fine. Don't know what that did. Tunneling. That also works, actually. Yeah, I don't really need a ring of wisdom, so it's another key. Getting a lot of keys this run. I don't really care about the cobalt if it's not gonna bother me. Okay, so in here we have what? Staff of obstruction, ring of stealth, staff of blinking, or pike, split mail, want the ring. Rings of stealth are actually one of my favorite items. I just like stealth and roguelikes in general, actually. When it's done well, at least. A lot of roguelikes don't do it particularly well. And most roguelikes don't seem to implement it very much at all. But in the games where it's actually done like reasonably well, I, it's one of my favorite things. And I think this game does it pretty well. Let's get you out of the way. Having none of your shit. And nap time. Don't care about a rat. Okay, uh, there's a staff of firebolt and one of blinking. Rings of awareness, some armor. Hmm. I think I might want the Staff of Blinking, actually. Which one is that? Uh, mouse. No, wrong button. Mouse. Okay, so that's the Staff of Blinking. I'm gonna take that for this one. Um, no, wrong side. Ah, the Staff of Blinking probably won't be particularly useful, but... It could save my life. Uh, haste charm, staff of lightning, wand of invisibility. Is that me turning invisible or somebody else? Fucking hell, I keep doing that. Uh, render a creature. Yeah, I don't think that's particularly useful because I think that targets and an opponent monster. So the charm should should target me though. Okay, so that seems to be everything from this floor, right? I don't have any more keys, do I? No. So yeah, I think that's all. What's this do? Identify. Huh. I guess I'll identify the potion. Happy I did that. And I should put this on. And now we can get out of here. Oh, no, I didn't mean to disable color effects. Hey, right, give that back. Where are you going? To the dead end. You're not a very good monkey. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why the monkey ran into a dead end. I guess the pathfinding just screwed up somehow. Normally they don't do that. But, oh well. I'm not gonna complain about it. I got my stuff back. And more locked doors. a lot of magical, mystical stuff going on in here. So these are just jackals, and they're pretty well cut off from the rest of the world. Okay, throw darts at the goblin.
Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm out of darts, that's why. Didn't realize I threw that many. Uh, split now. I don't know if I have the strength for that. So that's gonna catch on fire, I think. That or the floor is gonna collapse from under me, so. Either way, I think I'm gonna wait a minute for that. Grab that in a little bit. I'm pretty sure I can find a useful um, item of some sort to help me survive it. Where's that chain now? Yeah, definitely equip that. Okay. Is there a secret here? Yes. Good. That was thunder. If you heard that. Some gold. Healy thing. Okay, so... <sighs> kind of want to use that detect magic potion before I even bother with this to see what's in the... No, you know what, I'm just gonna grab it and... Now I will... Blink. That worked better than I expected it to. I was kind of worried that the blink would be random and that I would just blink to some location nearby. I wasn't expecting it to actually let me select a spot. So more invisibility, staff of entrancement, telepathy charm might be nice. I know, knowing where enemies are is kind of important. Uh, there are the broad swords too. What does it tell me about those? I don't have the strength for either of them. So, yeah, I guess I'll go with telepathy. Wrong one. Yeah, it seems like the best option for me right now. Because I can trigger it like once per floor and have an idea of where I should not go. Uh, speaking of where I should not go, can I throw this and paralyze you? Not really, but mostly because of my own stupidity. Okay, well, he's running away, so I'm gonna into this choke point. And I'm gonna nap and then eat. <sighs> okay, so I have a few potions. I have one of the tech magic too, don't I? Yeah, so I'm gonna wait until I get to the next floor to test those out so I can make the most of that potion of the tech magic as well. anything over here? Or is it just fucking jellies out the way, out the way? Okay, got them into a corner and killed them all. Good. Well, it doesn't sound so good, but it works. So I'm happy with it. And there's this there's a door all the way over there. Uh, I'm gonna check it out. It's probably nothing, but I don't want to miss it if there is something, yeah, especially early on, because I could get a Shattering Charm and a Potion of Incineration. That was definitely worth it. Okay, so... First off, Detect Magic. Okay. And blue potion is bad. Peace is good. Orange potion is good. Um, scroll is bad. Huh. Okay. And what 
is that potion. Good. Fire immunity. Okay. That'll probably be helpful in a couple floors, actually. If I survive that long, of course. Okay, so... While we have a target... Confusion. And what was the other one? The other one was a scroll. That's probably going to be a scroll of curse thing. Actually, so... I'm going to throw that into the water. And I don't have any ranged attacks right now, do I? No, because I took utility items over them. Hmm. Oh well. I'll go around the other way, I guess. Speaking of not having ranged attacks being a problem. Okay. So. That could have gone worse. Just happened to be right next to a Healy pod. Yes, yes, a toad hit me, I know. to full. Okay. I still have the vat. No, don't drink it. Throw it. Can't aim there. Actually, with the water in the way, water in the way, it's probably not going to do much, is it? So I think I'm going to. Okay, now throw it. Maybe. No, goblins in the way. Looks like I'm doing this the hard way. Take a nap. Can you continue to take a nap? Uh, it's a plus three of stealth. Good. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. And Healy Pod. Where's this bloat that I'm seeing? The floor bloat, so I'm not too concerned about it. It'll just drop me downstairs. And there's only one more item that's really interesting. I don't know. The detrimental items tend to be more useful than you might think, too, so it's worth picking them up or at least looking at them. Like this will probably affect any enemies I throw it at, even though I already know it's bad for me. Hallucinate, good. It's another scroll of enchanting. Let me out. Okay. There's some food down here. Scroll of confusion, it's not great, but whatever. Is there a captive over here? Yeah, sure. I'll take a goblin friend. Get out of here. Where are the stairs down? Not far from here, actually. Okay. I think I forgot to set my audio today. And yeah, I just ran straight through that caustic gas cloud to get down here. Uh, actually, before I go, I kind of want to... Well, first, telepathy charm. Get an idea of what's going on down here. Um, there's a gel over there. That's 
kind of annoying, but shouldn't be anything I can't handle, right? Hope so. Do I want to... I kind of want to boost up that invisibility charm. That or my ring of stealth. A ring of stealth plus more would be nice, actually. Can I... Hmm. I think the ring of stealth plus four would probably be better than the invisibility charm because invisibility is nice but not something I'm gonna need all the time. The ring I'll want on all the time. So is it... Even enemies giving chase may sometimes lose track of you. Yeah, that sounds pretty handy actually. So I'm gonna apply the other enchantment ring to that as well. Or enchantment scroll to that as well. Jelly was the most dangerous thing on this floor, so I'm happy it's gone now. Identify. Where'd that go? J. So I'll identify my potion of darkness. Okay. Stole my splint now. <laughs> What's a monkey gonna do with Splint Mail? Again, what's a monkey gonna do with most of the things they steal? <sighs> Get the feeling that chasing this monkey this way is not going to go well, so I'm gonna try to cut him off, and that didn't work. You know, I really don't care right now. You can have it, monkey. I'll catch up to you later, I guess. Like I was using it. Hmm. <sighs> These monkeys are just annoying. They're it didn't even steal anything particularly useful, so I'm not even sure why I'm chasing it. I don't know what that is. You know what? Plus two levitation charm. Spider. Ooh. Actually, no. It just looked like a spider because I'm hallucinating. Never mind. So I don't actually know what that was. It's probably just a kobold or something, to be honest. I killed it pretty easily in its sleep. Hmm. Do I really care about this floor? It is depth 5. I guess I should look around more. Really not much here. Next. Grab that and get away from the water. There's a turret here. Check. Well, let's get out of there. Okay. Um, I need to eat. I have mango. Okay. I see a monkey, apparently. Okay, that I do need. So... Huh. You know what, monkey? No. Fuck you. Thank you, monkey. <sighs> that was probably a bit overkill. But I don't care. He stole my staff, so I lit him on fire. That's a fair trade. 
I think. I hope that it actually works like that by um basically making the whole place dark <laughs> rather than just blinding the enemy. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna activate that invisibility charm. Chill runs up my spine. I don't know why chill ran up my spine. So this is probably an issue. Hmm. Maybe this was a bad idea. I don't know. I still have a chance, so. Okay. Um. Wait here for a bit. Yes, I know I see the Goblin Mystic. Need to wait here for a bit. like to have a ranged attack. Acid mound. Damn it. Now I need to run. Because I can't really fight goblins naked and I can't really afford to have an acid mound attacking me in my armor. Uh, hmm. I think now's a good time to get the fuck out of here. Maybe I can blink over there? No. I could have done that better. Oh well, that's all for today, folks. See you next time. Bye!